I'm about to show you a tool that will blow your mind. It's called Restore Nature. Now before I show you that it can restore any player built ugliness to a natural attractive state with only point and click, let me emphasize a couple of things. First, there is no world backup. Those take a massive amount of hard drive space, so Restore Nature works without a backup. Second, there is no database. Databases are difficult for amateur server administrators to work with, so Restore Nature works without a database. And finally, there is no chunk regeneration. Chunk regeneration makes a huge mess every time Mojang updates their world generation code, and it fails to fix ugly world generation errors like floating islands and gravel sticking out of the ground where there should be grass. So here's how Restore Nature works. All I have to do is get out my golden shovel, type Restore Nature, and then right click on what I don't like. That's right. No million slash commands with five parameters each. No investigations to see which players changed which blocks and when they changed them. None of that. You don't like it? Right click it. Simple. Of course, anything at all built from non-natural blocks is easy to fix, because it's obvious it was placed there by a player. But what if a griefer builds something with natural blocks? Single block towers. Spilled fluids. Water craters. Surface ripples. Potholes and trenches. Walls. Leaf constructions. Log constructions. Even stone constructions. Well, what about what's removed? Watch me use this fill, this fill tool. I point at the level I want to fill to and at the block type I want to fill with. Giant craters in the ground, gone. Spilled water filled with sand. Spilled water filled with grass. I could even build up a little landscape if I want to get fancy with it. Well, what about the ugly world generation stuff? Here's a floating island. I just point at the bottom of it and click. And remember, all of this without a database, without a backup, and without regenerating any chunks. To top it all off, I can be absolutely 100% certain that in all cases, I will never ever accidentally wipe out somebody's hidden work, because unlike world edits region command and similar commands, restore nature will never change a clamped block.